All right, welcome to Law Dog Corvette. Today we're going to talk about a C3 Corvette's everybody's favorite topic, and that is headlights. If your headlights do not go up and down consistently, then you have a vacuum leak. And if you have a vacuum leak in your system, this guy is your culprit. This is the headlight vacuum relay, but it's only the relay, it's not the actuators. Take a look at what the actuators are. These guys, these big pancake looking things, those are the actuators. Those are what actually pushes the rod to get these headlights up and down. But these relays tell the actuators whether to go in or out. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to test the relay. I will tell you right now, I know my relays are bad, but I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna show you how to test it and you're gonna need two tools. You're gonna to need a way to create vacuum. I'm using a brake bleeder and vacuum pump kit. Pick this up at Tractor Supply. Actually, no, Harbor Freight, very, very cheap. And then you're gonna need a vacuum gauge. This one off of Amazon, I think it was $17. So the first test you're gonna do is you're gonna see if you can make that rod go up and down because you have this is your main vacuum tube coming in here so in here will be at least between 14 and 17 um, inches of vacuum right here this guy down here is going to close your headlights and this guy is going to open your headlights so in order there's this little rod that runs through here and it's gonna have two holes. And when it's down, these two holes are together. So this vacuum's coming in and then sucking air here. When it's up, this, these two holes are gonna get vacuum. Vacuum come in here and it's sucking vacuum through this hole. And that is determined on this rod. So right now, I've got these two holes that, are, that have vacuum going through them vacuum in here and out. So the first test is, can I get this rod to go up and down? So all you do is then you create vacuum. And you hear that? And you see the rod, let's see, what it is. there we go. That rod is up right now and it's holding up and it only took about six inches of vacuum to hold that rod up. So at this point, vacuum would come in here and it's getting, vacuum's getting sucked in here. And then if you let it go, it comes out. And so now this one. So our first test is actually complete. That means this guy right here is, um, the vacuum coming in through this hose is good and this rod travels up and down. So here's the next, the next test. Now, I know the rod is in the down position, so vacuum's coming in here and getting sucked through there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a vacuum right here. And if I create vacuum here, I should be able to read vacuum there because right now it's in this position. So we're going to see how that goes. And I'm getting something, but I'm not getting steady. And I'm gonna need, in order to make those actuators work, I'm gonna need to be somewhere in the you know, seven, eight, nine inches to get the actuators to actually work. That means I'm getting some vacuum, but it's not holding vacuum here. That means that guy right there, and if you can see this little rubber stopper is dry rotted, cracked, not holding vacuum. So I could do I could do the same thing up here on this guy by just changing here to here. Of course, I would need to get that rod in the up position. So it's up there now. You 
it's still up because I'm pinching that off. And the same thing. Can I get vacuum on the top one? I get something, but it's not enough to do the actuator. So I know for a fact this relay is not functional. So I go to Zips Corvette, and here we have HDL305, part number HDL305. We're going to do the same test with a brand new actuator, I'm sorry, brand new relay from Zips Corvette and see if it's any different. So our first test is going to be, see if I can get that rod. Of course, these are going to have a little dust cover right here, so you're not going to see it, but you can hear it. And there, it's up there now. All right, so we know that test is good. And then we're gonna do our final test. All right, now, if this works, that means as I pump, that needle's gonna go up and hold. And sure enough, that needle's held, holding six inches is enough to move the actuator. This relay is perfect. Therefore, that was my problem. That is why my headlights would not go up and down. My relays were leaking. And if you have that leak, leaking relay, there is absolutely no way that your actuators will move. So what we're gonna do we're gonna install this guy on the car, hook up all the vacuum lines, start up the engine, create vacuum, and at the very end of this video, you will see the headlights go up for the first time in probably, I was gonna say probably 25 years. Eh, we'll see. All right, so give me a few minutes and we'll be right back. All right, headlights on. channel 